Hi there! Today I am really excited about the topic I'm bringing you today and it is how to turn a $10 product into thousands of dollars in sponsorship. Now I know when I say that many of you won't at all believe anything that I have to say, but I want to take you down a path and show you how it can work out. So currently I have a challenge going on. It's called the D1 Challenge or Daytona One Challenge. And what's going on there is I talked with Buck Parker at Daytona One and I had said, hey, I, I want to do something to really help promote, keep some, keep some energy alive, really help our our industry what can I do and Buck stepped up and said hey you know what I'm gonna give you a budget and I do something with it you know magic make some magic happen so I thought and I thought and I thought how can I promote his product how can I promote the racing industry how can I make things better for everybody and where I landed I'll, I'll be honest actually at first my first thought was hey you know there's like a few go-to people that I know that if I reached out to them they would help me promote this thing but instead what I decided is I said no rather than being a rich get richer situation I want to do something that is going to benefit more racers, as many racers as want to be benefited from this program. And so the deal with that challenge is you make a video about one of the Daytona One products and post it and then you give that information to us and then as a result you win the prize pack that includes these products right here plus the product that you did the video on which is amazing because this right here so you get these products plus you get a couple of decals to put on your car as well and that this these products alone are worth $35 but then you add on whatever product you are doing a video on so so let's say like the spray lube is a uh, $8.95 for the product so I'm saying a $10 product but I'm just using that as a as an example but where I want to walk you through, how can doing this challenge lead you to thousands of dollars in sponsorship? How does that happen? Well, the very first thing is the fact that you are doing this video, you might buy the product, and you're going to get $35 in sponsorship plus plus whatever. So plus whatever product. So let's say it's $45 or $50 in sponsorship for, for that. And you're like, oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's $50, bucks. So it's not a big deal. But here's the deal is that once you make that video, who's gonna to wanna to share it? I, I'm doing this not as Winning Motorsports Marketing, I'm a little bit involved with it there, but I'm mostly doing it from Crate Insider where I'm a retailer for the manufacturer. So Daytona One's the manufacturer and Crate Insider's a retailer and you as a racer. So we see like there's like a kind of a triangle here going on. And uh, obviously everybody benefits, but you post a video or a racer posts a video. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna take take a racer for just a moment. So here's what happens. So this racer posts a video. I like that video. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna share it over to the Crate Insider Facebook page. Daytona One, they're gonna share it over to their Facebook page. If I really like it or I find that it's really informative to another racer, I might even go ahead and embed it into my website. So when somebody looks at the super shit, the finishing glaze here, the Z9 finishing glaze, that they're on my website and they see where a racer is recommending this product, let me tell you how valuable that is to me as a retailer and how valuable that is to Buck at Daytona One because you know, we've all bought stuff, right? And we all buy buy things all the time. And if we're buying things online, a lot of times we're buying something and we don't really know what we're getting. I mean, whether it's race car parts or recently I was buying quite a bit of furniture. And when I was on the furniture website, I'd go on there and here's, here's the product description where, you know, here's this amazing chair and it's soft to sit in and it's this great fabric. But all I'm looking at is this flat little picture. That's all I'm seeing is this, this picture. So I don't know. I mean, you can make a lot of stuff look really, really good in photographs. I mean, you really can. But how's it going to wear? I mean, is it going to wear out in five minutes or is it going to stick around? Um, is it really complicated to put together? Am I even going to get all the pieces? I mean, me as a consumer, those are the questions I'm asking myself because especially if I'm, you know, more expensive things or bigger things, I don't really want to make a mistake. So if I'm on that website and I'm looking at furniture, 
Now, for one, maybe I'm at the manufacturer's website, whoever's manufacturing it. Let's say it's like a Broyhill or something. I could be on their website. Then maybe I go to a retailer's website. Maybe it's furnitureoutlet.com or whatever, and I see their product description. Now, obviously, the, the manufacturer, they want to sell me the product. The retailer wants to sell me the product. But if I'm looking at the reviews, and in the reviews, the person says, wow, it is exactly as I envisioned it. It does everything I thought it was going to do. It was easy to put together. All the pieces were there. The fabric is even better than it looks in the photos. Or Maybe it's, maybe it's a comment like, hey, the color is a little bluer than what, how it showed up on the internet, or wow, I had this for five minutes and it broke, or there was missing pieces. All of those are important decisions or important information for me as a consumer when I'm looking at reviews. So reviews are important, and that is exactly what you're doing with one of these videos. So if you as a racer are going to recommend a product, that has far more value to another racer, another customer who's looking at this product online and they're wondering, ah, you know, I mean, I can buy wax at, at the dollar store. I mean, is this stuff really worth it for my race car? Well, if you say it is, then, you know, if you find that it is, clearly I want you to tell the truth on every single one of these videos. You know, talk about your experience and what you like about it. And that could end up on the website. But then, okay, so that's great. That's why, that is why we're asking for videos for Crate Insider and Daytona One and doing this challenge. That's our why. But there's also a bigger why, and this is why I got involved over on the Winning Motorsports marketing side. And that why is because I know that if racers start just doing their first video, it, you can't do your second video if you haven't done your first video. And I know that video is the most powerful thing today in order to promote your company, to promote your race team, to get sponsors. It all roads lead to video. So if, if this challenge can get a few people, and I know this has gotten a few people to do their first video, and I am so, so excited. I That is a huge win for me. But here's what happens. A lot of other people look at my website besides just racers. So I know that I, I have people, you know, we've got 20,000 followers over on Facebook and we're there a lot. I mean, we're, we show up on Facebook a lot. I get calls from all over the country, from maybe companies that want to do business with me, um, from, from companies I already do business with, that they call me and they've, they've seen a video on something that I've done or they've seen something on Facebook. So what this could do is it could introduce you it, so that you can attract sponsors to you. There could be a sponsor that sees your video and says, wow, that, that racer, that'd be really cool to get involved. I wonder if I can get involved with those guys. And maybe they make a couple of comments on your videos and maybe you respond and like, oh wow, they're really nice. You know, they're, they're it's a nice person. It's not just a, a plastic Ken doll. This is a real person. And you start having a dialogue and you ha start having a conversation and one thing leads to another and they, they say, wow, you do such a great job of promoting this. Do you think you could promote my thing over here? And that's how it leads into sponsorship. Another thing would be, Maybe it's sponsors that you are seeking and you are actively seeking sponsorship. You are actively contacting companies. And this is right up there. Um, I mean, I know there could be some young kids watching, but for anyone who's an adult, we've all had our first job. Now, what if our first job, and we've also been to job interviews possibly, where it's like, well, what experience do you have? And you're like, well, I don't really have experience. I have lots of enthusiasm. I mean, I've definitely been in that boat before. But here again, with the sponsorship piece, if you are attracting or if you're approaching potential sponsors, these videos that you do become part of your portfolio. It's not about what you're going to do. You can show what you're already doing. If you're gonna wait to do a video until you get the sponsorship, that's like saying, you know, well, I'm gonna wait to even take on this job. I'm not gonna accept the job until I get my first paycheck. That's, that's how, that doesn't make any sense, right? So why would it make any sense otherwise? And why should they believe you? If they've got five or 10 racer resumes sitting in front of them, 
And, and I recently had this happen when we had a competition going on and I had several entries in a contest and I had to help be one of the judges to decide who was gonna get this sponsorship deal. And I had to look at not, I didn't wanna look at any empty promises. What I wanted to look at and what I wanted to see is what are these people already doing regardless of, see here's the thing, I actually have a thing here. So what are they already doing? And the, the real kicker here is, what are they already doing? And nobody needs to know whether they're sponsored or not. So, I mean, like on my personal channel, you guys, I have like so many different YouTube channels, but um, on my personal channel, I do, for instance, camera reviews. I've got a, a microphone over here that I bought that I'll be doing a, a a, a review on. I'll be checking it out and I'll be doing a review. Now, I, that wasn't a sponsored item. It's just an item that I'm adding to my camera equipment. And so I'm going to share my experience with people. But as a result of some of the videos that I've done, I have had contact with companies that have just contacted me out of the blue to say, hey, if I send you this product, would you want to review it and do a video on it? And that's happened. So I know that it attracts more. So it helps build your portfolio. So here are my big, big points for, for that. Um, first of all, recognize that this challenge is sponsorship. I really could have chosen, could have come gone a different direction and just gone with some heavy hitters that I know are going to do a good job and could promote this out there. But I decided to go wide and and really give this opportunity to anybody who wanted to take advantage of it. This is sponsorship. I negotiated it for you. You just have to want to take part in it. That's it. Um, secondly, it builds your portfolio so you can look for other sponsors and show what you've done before. And you could, of course, attract other sponsors. So that is how taking a $10 product could easily turn into thousands and thousands of dollars in sponsorship of that, I have no doubt. I encourage you for anybody who hasn't done this yet, um, you can go to uh, crateinsider.com forward slash D1 challenge to see our Daytona One challenge. The challenge is gonna go on until May 23rd will be the last day that we're going to accept entries on the D1 challenge. And then if you're like, hey, you know, I really do think it's time. I really wanna start learning about this marketing stuff. Then I'll tell you what, I want to invite you to join my Smart Racers program if you're not already a member. Each month we focus on a different topic, but then over the course of time, you know, they just kind of stack up. And I'm doing a deal now where you, if you can join as a member in here in the month of May, you're going to get every single issue of every single action guide. I've done eight so far on topics like doing video. This month I gave some scripts on how to do cold call, cold call, you know, calling somebody out of the blue and asking them for sponsorship. How do you do that? How do you send out an email that is going to get a response? Um, how do you follow up with people to really get that sponsorship? sponsorship. So how do you do cold calling? I was a cold call sales rep for several, for five years, and I've done lots and lots of cold calls in lots of different ways. So I was happy to share that experience. I also talk about Facebook pages is a big piece on how I suggest promoting your race team. Um, that's a big one. Also content marketing and, and creating, you know, what do you even say? So if you've got a Facebook page or you've got an Instagram account, what do you even talk about to get, to get involved with people? So I've all of those and much more. And so if you want to join the Smart Racers program, you're going to get all of that. And it looks like starting June 1st, it's going to be whatever is the new action guide moving forward. And, and if you join, you get whatever's moving forward without getting the back issues as what's going to happen on June 1st. So I really would hope to see you in the program. Lots of advantages there. And I want to thank you so much for being here. Oh, and that link is just go to winningmotorsportsmarketing.com and go to training and you'll see the Smart Racers membership program and you can join right there. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you luck on making your videos. I look forward to seeing them and sharing them and getting them up on my website as well and helping to get you some more publicity. So have a great day and I'll see you in another video.